Welcome to Zcast, everyone. I'm ZS Caravalla from CK Research, and I'm here uh, inside the Cisco offices at Pen One. Uh, I'm in New York. It's Global Citizen Week here in New York, and I'm with Ricardo Enrique Alba Torres. Uh, you're with a company called uh, you're the CEO and co-founder of Echo Group H2O Plus. Uh, you're also the 2024 Cisco Youth Leadership Award winner. And so this is a video, I think somewhere in the 120 range for me this year, mm -hmm. uh, but this is my favorite one of the year. Every year, one of the great joys of my job is I get to interview the Youth Leadership Award winner, and congratulations on that. Um, and from what I read about your company, you addressed the global water crisis. And before we get in your company, though, just an introduction to yourself and, and talk about how big a problem this is in the world today. Thank you so much uh, for uh, this interview. My name is Ricardo Alba. I'm from Bogota, Colombia. Uh, yes, I'm the co-founder of Eco Group. Eco Group is a social company and a foundation too. Uh, and we found it because we, we saw that in the world near to 2.2 billion people doesn't have access to drinking water. 2.2 billion. billion people yeah. have not access to drinking water and sanitation uh, basics. Uh, and in Colombia, it's near to 12 million people that actually don't have access to to, to, uh, to drinking water. They live in the deepest Colombia areas, rural and peri-urban areas and see this kind of, uh, of young people that uh, needs to walk maybe six or five hours to arrive in order to to bring nearly to 20, 25 liters every three days for their families and can or go for water or go for, for, for an education for the school. That was the motivation to start with this project. Yeah, that is a, a shocking stat that a, a planet with between seven and eight billion people, a quarter of them have no access to drinking yeah. water. and so. Um, you know, bless you for uh, trying to solve that problem. Uh, so talk about your solution though and how exactly it works. It's, it's very simple from what I see. Yes, it's yeah. simple. Yes, the, the, uh, uh, the solution is called Ecomuro or EcoWall and was born in uh, in my high school, uh, a public high school in, in, in Colombia. And, and you started this in 2010, this way. In 2010, yeah. yes. It was like my like, like the science project of, uh, of, my, of my schools. I managed my sister's schools too. We were in parallel. She with my mom. Uh, I with my father in my, in my schools, like uh, the teacher, like our mentor. And uh, the solution is how you can use the pet plastic bottles containers uh, and interconnect each one in order to build a vertical uh, wall or muro in, in Spanish uh, and can harvest rainwater in each, uh, in each model. It's a vertical harvesting tank. We can use this, this amount of water near to 250 liters uh, in order to uh, using toilet, irrigation, domestic things, for example, but uh, we can see that we, we, have the, we have the opportunity to provide drinkable water through an inverse osmosis solution or, or, or filtration solution. Uh, and yes, that was the, uh, the, the first phase of our, of our eco solution. It's very simple. Yeah, and from what you're telling me, that reverse osmosis process is very simple. It simply yeah. runs water through a membrane mm -hmm. and out comes clean water on the other side. Yes, it's, yeah. it's 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 like I told you, it's like magic. Yeah, it, yeah you have like a micro membrane inside the filtration system, and uh, yes, just the dry the the dirty water in, go inside the filtration the the, the, fil the the filtration process, and when you receive the water in the low part of the filtration that works uh, per gravity, you receive clean drinking water. Ninety point nine uh, percentage of this uh, quality water is. It's, it's, it's good. 99.9, yeah. yeah. And then, um, uh, so that's great for areas where it rains a lot. Now, what if you're in a region where there isn't so much rain? Well, interesting, because uh, this is a common question for the communities, the stakeholders uh, that, we, that we receive. And obviously, our, our ecosystem tank, uh, it's a uh, building in order to harvest rainwater. But, you know, we have dry seasons. Uh, we have rain seasons in uh, uh, yes, in every part of the world. In Colombia, for sure, we have. Uh, so we can use the ecosystem, the ecomuro, uh, for like a hybrid tank. So we can you can use the water from a river. You can use the, the water from your um, uh, you know the different stores that you have. Maybe like a home. exactly, yeah. exactly. And you can use this tank like a res a, a reserve tank in this uh, dry seasons, and the filtration system works perfectly with the with this kind of, of water. It's very important that uh, uh, yes, that notify that our filtration system can uh, uh, provide drinkable water from the sea. So it's not a desinulation system, and it's not uh, it's not provide clean water from the river that is contaminated with high 
metals, for example. It's the two quality of water that we can afford, but with the, for example, rainwater, water from a river, etc., it's very useful. Yeah, lakes, ponds, things like yes. that. Yeah. And so um, there are many regions of the world, in fact, I was talking with another activist about this, where people do drink the river water, the lake water, which is contaminated, and it causes many, many health problems. Yeah. And you had a, a good story for me. Why don't you, why don't you talk about that? Oh, yes. Well, uh, like I told you, we, we work in different communities. We are working uh, at least in 200 communities in Colombia. And one of the more impactful communities was in the Pacific area of our country. Uh, Chocó is, is, is the name. Uh, and that people lives in a, in a community where the river is super contaminated for, you know, mines up to, uh, to the river uh, and these people for lack of good education environmental education uh, they didn't know that actually they they, they was in a very uh, ecosystem with a lot of polluted this water wasn't the best quality uh, and right now they, they they lived there for at least 50 60 years ago i was in three years ago and you can see now the different tumors Cancerigenous, cancerigenous tumors that the, the people actually yeah. have in their body, in their heads, uh, and you say, "Wow, that's that's the that's the uh, reality that actually exists." And now the kids of these people are in the same process in order to take a shower in the river. Uh, it's crazy. So yeah. the, la the 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 environmental education is in the same way with this kind of uh, water solutions. Every time that we go to a community, we explain them why you need to uh, drink safe water and what are the problems to, 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 to drink this kind of water with bad smells, etc., etc. It's very important. The education and the students, are, as, they, they are our main focus when we go to, to, to this kind of communities. Yeah, and they, there is a lack of awareness of education, there, yeah. right? They just do not know it's, it's bad to do that. And sure. perhaps they don't really have another choice either. Yes. Yeah, yeah. and so... Um, where are you um, operating now, and how many people have you positively impacted? Well, right now, to, for 2024, we want to uh, finish the year with near to 90,000 beneficiaries. Right now, we, ha we are near to 85,000 beneficiaries ac uh, across Colombia with, with a pilot projects in Peru and in Mexico. But our main focus is right now in, 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 uh, in Colombia. We already installed more than 400 Ecomuros in in different uh, regions in, in in Colombia, and we are harvesting uh, near to thirty five thousand cubic meters of rainwater, uh, and at least I think that the sixty percent of this water uh, is providing uh, to it's it's a uh, harvesting in order to provide cable water to the to the communities. And so your goal, you're at eighty five thousand, hoping to get to ninety by end of year. Yeah. What's your goal? Well, our main goal right now is by the twenty third year, we, we, we want to provide safe and, and clean water to one million people in Latin America. Yeah, well, one million uh, seems like a lot, but uh, it's just a small fraction of the 2.2 billion, uh, I suppose. Now, um, uh, and, and that's fantastic if you can get to a million, I, I, I certainly hope you do. What's your uh, commercial model? How do you operate? How, how are you getting these systems out to people? Well, when, when, when you create, create a, a social company, uh, it's it's a challenge to find the corporate model, and uh, but w w but we have, we find it right now. Our model is a B two B two C business model. We work a lot with uh, this kind of big companies, multinational like Coca Cola, Pepsi Cola, Unilever. They don't they, they, they this kind of companies doesn't uh, have this kind of programs in order to bring water to the communities, and we support them CSR program through, through our uh, organization and foundation. And for every five sales that we that we get, we donate one system through our foundation. Oh. Yes, this is a, 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 a business model that, that, that we have. Uh, the idea is create a B2C business model right now, but uh, yes, uh, our current business is, uh, is, is provide the solution to these companies that support us and can help the communities, the schools, that they know that, that, that they really need the, the water, no? Now, have you been to any of the communities where you put water in, and uh, how have you seen their lives change since you've been there? Well, it's a 180, you know, change, uh, because these people, actually, they don't, they, like I told you, they or have time to go for water, or have time to, the, for, to go to attend the school. So, 
the people is more happy. They now they they, they now don't have the, the that worries about if they are going to have water for the next day or the next two days because they have now the the re, uh, rainwater harvesting system. Uh, the education right there it's improving because we have in the infography of our ecomuros a QR code and, and the people can see how is the the project works. Uh, so yes, we change uh, the lives of many, many people very well. Uh, but the challenge is not only stay in this kind of schools of communities. We want to every house in, in Colombia and Latin America have an, an ecomural harvesting system because right now we are in a reality that is the climate change. And in Bogota, right now we don't have water for the next, uh, for the next, uh, you know, week. Uh, every, every eight days, we don't have water. I mean, I, I mean in my house. Every eight days, they they stop the the water for for your house. And I'm I live not in a vulnerable community. I'm in a privilege, and I have the, the the opportunity to have water every time. But right now, it's a it's a crisis. And in Bogota, it's a, it's a lack of, of of access to to drinking water. And if you live that re, uh, reality like a privileged people, I can imagine the people that actually live without yeah. water in every moment. So. Yeah, I think sometimes in the developed nations we forget that, uh, you know, you describe water as being privileged. Yeah, it's uh, it, it's something that I think much of the world takes for granted. Yeah. So, uh, and so I did. I started off talking about how you won the Cisco Youth Leadership Award, uh, that does come with a cash prize. What will you use that money to do? Well, uh, we are we are focused right now in, in three different topics. The first one is about. Um, install this kind of AI or IoT uh, monitors in each uh, Ecomuro in order to have real data uh, in every installation that we, we, we're going to have. Uh, that's in order to have real uh, important data about the water that is collecting or the water that is purified in, in every Ecomuro. That's the first one. We want to expand our, uh, our business model in a B2C business model. So our idea is that you, like a natural person or a physical person, can go to your uh, retail store like the Home Depot or the Home Center in, in, in Bogota, and you can buy your own Ecomuro system for your house and that you can install by, by yourself your, your system in your house. Uh, and the third one is, uh, is about provide a we have the goal to provide uh, water to 200,000 people for the next year with with more than uh, at least 100 installations of our ecosystem, not only in Bogota, but also in different parts of, of, of Colombia. So you're going to AI enable and IoT enable these systems? Yeah. And what will that enable you to do? Well, uh, yeah, it's it, it's interesting questions. Right now, right now we have like a physical model, uh, like a, a system that, that can measure the water, like to, measure water. to measure but, but it's the, that works like physically and is um, a, a current um, monitoring uh, right now we want to expand that that uh, that part and we want to improve that part in order to have real data oh, so that's a physical person that actually goes and measures. yeah a physical okay. person so you can automate that yes that's yeah. that's, that's, that's yeah we, we have person that is called eco guardians in every in every installation so they provide us with that data the idea is autom uh, automatic size this kind of of solution. Yeah, and so I know how many entries they get at Global Citizen for this award uh, and graduating. So what, what does winning it mean to you? Wow, that's <laughs> that was amazing. What's a surprise? I know that it's a very competitive uh, award, uh, but we know too that we believe in our solution and we know that the impact that actually we we create in the last, I mean, we, with, the, with the idea we started in 2010, uh, the company started in 2018, maybe in the last five years we worked a lot, uh, uh, a very work hard in the communities. And you can see all this, this uh, uh, impact that we create in every year. You can see like uh, reflected in this kind of awards and the support of this, these big companies like, like Global Citizen, uh, organization like Global Citizen and, and Cisco, uh, because you can see that we are really changing the life of the people through, uh, uh, through our, uh, our projects and providing drinkable water. So yeah, it's, it was hard, but uh, we believe in ourselves and we, and we think that we deserve this kind of, uh, yeah. you know, uh, of, um, of price of an award. And I, I know too that it's just the beginning. We want to expand our impact across the world. And, but this kind of supports 
provide us and, and, and say to us, yes, you can do it and, and keep in, 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 your, in your goal, in your journey and in your final uh, yes, achievement. That's the, that's the point. Okay, and um, uh, just uh, last question for uh, obviously solving these big global problems isn't something that one person can do, but one person can actually have a big step towards doing that, right? And so I know there's plenty of entrepreneurs out there with ideas and sometimes they may get frustrated or intimidated. What kind of advice can you give them if someone's got a great idea to, to help them get started? Well, uh, yeah, amazing question because... I mean, you started this in high school. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> That's, I, I, want to, I want to start from, from there. We, we believe from, from this science project in, in the high school. And yes, without that, you have a solution and you know the problem. So how you can match both. And, and it's, this, this technology is super simple. Uh, we call, you use uh, appropriate technology in order to build this kind of, of, of solutions. So the thing is that you need to believe in yourself. You need to believe in, in, in your idea. Yes, you can be very young. I started when I was like 17 years old or something like that. Uh, but I believe in my, in my project. And I think, okay, we can do big things with this easy solution. Uh, I just need the support of the people, of the organization, of other schools in order to develop this. Yes, and you can you can receive a lot of no's across the the, the did, way. Did you yeah. get a lot of no's on the yes, way? Yes, for sure, for sure. Like uh, when we started the company, the first year, year and a half, we don't have any sales. It was very difficult. Uh, zero dollars in your account. Yeah. It's, it's not easy. It's not easy. Yeah. Be an, a, an entrepreneur, you need to be very resilient and understand that it's a, it's a challenge. The way is just like that, you know, and uh, yes, but believe in yourself and the opportunities come to you because uh, if you believe, you can do it. That's the, the, that's the most important, uh, the, uh, the most important part. And the young people have all the capacities to do that and to transform the lives. Uh, uh, yes, if you have a goal and a, in our case, a social goal and a focus, you're definitely going to to, to keep them. So believe in yourself. That's believe the in yourself and stick to it. Yeah, it's that simple. That's simple. So, anything else you want to add? Oh, no, thank you so much again uh, to you, Cisco Global Citizen, for the opportunity. We are very excited, and very proud, and we want to continue transforming lives uh, with your support, uh, not only in Colombia, but also in different parts of, of Latin America and in the long term in the, in the world. So, this kind of uh, um, Yes, of networking that actually we have here in, in the climate week, for example, in New York, very exciting for us because open our eyes to more possibilities. Uh, and uh, I, we are very happy, very grateful. All my family is here, so we are so happy to to be part of this World Weather Week. Yeah, and if somebody wants to learn more about your company, your website is? Oh, yes, for sure. We uh, You can find us uh, in uh, social media and our website, like Eco Group, con K, H2O. And you can uh, you can download the the free manual that we have for the communities just there. So somebody can build their own. Yes, yes, that's the, we have right now twelve thousand installations and it's for free. And the idea is that that we can replicate our solution around the world. Uh, and yes, we can you, you can uh, donate us in order to provide more water to more people in in Colombia, Latin America. And my contact is just there if you if you need more information. Okay, well, I'll make sure the link to your webpage is in the YouTube description below, Fantastic. as well as the donation link. Yes, And so I sure. encourage everybody to donate because this is a problem uh, that certainly needs solving. Uh, I certainly hope we solve this problem on this planet before we find yeah. water on Mars and places like that. So, <laughs> Yeah, that's true. <laughs> and, no, thank you so much. No, thank you. Thank so, you. Uh, Ricardo uh, Enrique Alba Torres, yeah. uh, it was a pleasure talking to you. Congratulations on winning the award. Uh, so on behalf of Ricardo, I'm Zias Caraval from CK Research, a global citizen, saying thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. I'll see you next time on my next episode of Zcast. Thank you very much. Thank you so thanks. much.